Welcome to this tutorial on how to use your programming tool PGT11S in Hyperface DSL mode. First of all, you need to ensure that SOPAS is installed on your computer and the PGT is connected. To add your device to the project, please double click on the desired device. Your PGT11 will appear in the current project window. By double clicking onto the icon, the connection to the device will be established. After you have successfully connected your PGT11, you can double click on the main page. In the device identification window, you can check its serial number and firmware version. All information related to the Ethernet connection are shown in the Ethernet window. Here you have to choose the according interface of the sensor you want to connect. This tutorial deals with the Hyperface DSL mode. Therefore, please click on the Hyperface DSL icon. Now three mode selections appear. The master mode offers functions like set position, read position and data field management. In the slave mode, the PGT11 simulates a motor feedback system. Core functions of the analyzer mode is to check the communication on the line. Please choose the operation mode accordingly. After you have selected the Hyperface DSL master mode, the tab datasheet appears after some seconds. Which tabs are available depends on the connected sensor and its firmware. In the datasheet window, you can read out main criteria of the connected device. This includes the encoder type, firmware and hardware revision and the unique serial number of your sensor. On the right hand side, you can see an extract of the sensor specification. In the Sensor Values tab, you can see and record the actual measurement data. The actual absolute position and the actual speed are displayed on the upper left side of the window. During commissioning of the servo motor, it is required to align the mechanical position of the motor shaft with the electrical position value of the sensor. Therefore, you can enter the desired position value, for example 0, in the box. By activating the Z position button, the new value will be displayed and is assigned to the encoder. For condition monitoring reasons, additional data can be measured and stored. In the lower right of the screen, the data can be visualized. Select the value in the drop down menu and tick the box to collect the data. If a bearingless capacitive motor feedback system is connected, the mounting arrangement can be tested by the axial position indication figure. The error handling tab shows all events and errors which could be detected on the master side in the PGT11 and on the slave side in the sensor. On the left hand side, the error flags of the master side are listed. On the right hand side, the error flags of the slave side are listed. In the administration tab, it is possible to perform an encoder reset and the set encoder index function, which is required for functional safe multi axis systems. In addition, it is possible to carry out a factory reset. For condition monitoring, the user can set individual user boundaries. For example, the user can be notified if the sensor hits an upper temperature level of 95 degree. In the Diagnostics tab, the motor feedback system can be checked. If you push the Update Error Lock button, all stored error messages will be displayed. The sensor can store up to 16 messages. Each Hyperface DSL sensor offers a histogram for condition monitoring. You can read out the encoder temperature, which was measured over the whole lifetime of the sensor. Depending on the connected device, different values are accessible. In addition, you can read out the operation time and the number of total shaft turns. The diagnostic report should be used if you want to return a sensor for inspection to 6. Therefore, please forward this diagnostic report together with the sensor. To support functions like traceability or automated identification, you can store user-specific data in the sensor. The memory is handled like a file directory. First, please enter a file name. Second, press Create File. Third, click on the file number and load file definition. Now you can enter the information you want to store inside the sensor. By a click on the Update Resource Database, 
all implemented resources of the connected device will be listed after a few seconds. Once you marked a resource, the corresponding resource parameters will be shown on the right hand side. The Advanced tab offers possibilities to program macros to gain direct access to individual registers and to obtain a memory dump of the sensor. In the Direct Input window, you can send single commands by long messages where the resources are used to the sensor, or you can store several commands in a sequence as a macro. In case you want to directly read out an IP core master register, you just need to select the desired register in the drop-down menu. You can also get access to the remote slave registers by short messages in the sensor. A memory dump file can be created by using the log to file button. A memory dump is a full record of the encoder in the time of execution of this function. This file can help to analyze the state of the encoder. If you want to change to the Hyperface DSL slave mode, please go back to the main page. Here you can select the slave mode. The first screen of the Hyperface DSL slave mode, called DSL Connection, does not show any specific information. In the tab Error Handling, you can trigger any error bit. So you can make a failure insertion test of your drive during development or validation. If you want to change to the Hyperface DSL Analyzer mode, please go back to the main page. Here you can select the Analyzer mode. In this mode, the PGT11S must be connected between a servo drive and a servo motor or a Hyperface DSL encoder. In the Analyzer mode, only one tab is available. Here you can see the eye diagram of the signals on the line. It is a possibility that the scale of the diagram is poor. If you tick the box DSL tab, the upper part of the screen changes. Here you can start to record the communication on the line. But this is only suitable for rough analysis as the PGT11 is not able to catch every frame of the Hyperfest DSL communication.